Don't get me wrong, I love shopping in Dubai, but I've now realized it's no longer feasible for me. Unless it's something I genuinely really need and I can't get to Europe in time to collect it, I'm not gonna be doing it anymore because I've realized I've been scammed. Although UAE is a tax haven, I love it, it's amazing, we don't get taxed on a lot of things. I've been wasting a lot of money because the second you reach Europe with your UAE residency, which I am so grateful for, you realize, <sighs> The cost of something here at Chanel, it's a set price. But the cost of something in Europe, the exact same thing, is a lot less with tax. But when you're a UAE resident, you get that tax back at the airport. So ultimately, it's like you're getting something brand new on massive sale in comparison to the price of it in Dubai. I'm absolutely flabbergasted and shocked at the amount of money I've been wasting and spending on things when I should have just saved up all that money, bought myself a plane ticket, and gone to Europe to shop. Not that it was feasible, really, because of you know who. Now it's, it's what I'm gonna be doing. I don't really intend on buying much from Dubai unless it's absolutely necessary and I can't get to Europe in time and pick something up. For example, a Bottega bag here, which I really wanted was about 8,000 dirhams. We're talking in dirhams. 8,000 dirhams. I went to Rome. It was probably about 6,000 dirhams with tax and then with the 12 to 20 percent off that you're getting back i mean okay it's a few thousand dirhams to some people but that few thousand dirhams could go on a pair of shoes let's be honest it's a waste of money but without further ado we're going to get into what i bought whilst i was away so if you guys didn't know if you don't follow me on instagram i basically went away to Cannes film festival however to get to Cannes, because if it, if you take a direct flight you'll have to quarantine i wasn't doing that i was getting pcr tests every three days just to ensure that i was completely negative we basically flew to Rome, we did a bit of an Italy trip, and then we flew to Cannes, Nice, and yeah, basically we did it on the way there as well as on the way back. It was something we didn't really feel was necessary, but we're so glad we did because let me just tell you, it has been a while since I've been to Italy and I had completely forgotten how madly in love I am with Italy. But enough about that, you guys will see a little bit of a vlog. I'm in the process of editing it, but I was more excited to actually show you guys what I bought before. First and foremost, we're gonna talk about something I picked up in Monaco. This is something I actually had my eye on. It's not the exact item I wanted. It is from Goyard, but it is very similar. This is my new mini Saigon Goyard, and it's in the soft design. So as you guys can see, it does, it's not structured, it's quite soft, it's quite floppy. These are considerably cheaper than the structured version. I did want the structured version, but as I'm sure you guys already know, it's almost impossible to get the structured version in this size in store literally anywhere. They did have other colors, however, I felt the classic color was just something I could wear very often. It's a beautiful little bag. I did get her. I want to say on sale because it literally felt like everything I was buying was on sale, but we got tax back off this and it was... Fantastic. They also had doggy bags. You guys know how they've got this classic St. Louis bag. It's like the bougie alternative to the Neverfull. They had that, but the doggy bag version. So it's kind of like cut out so your dog can like stick his head through. I did ask about that, but he said my dog was a little bit too large for it. Although I do think they come in like two sizes, if not three. But this is what she looks like. The inside is a beautiful yellow. It's got this, ah, oh, 20 cents. And it's a beautiful yellow. It's got a single pocket. These are alcohol wipes. <laughs> I was wearing this when I was out. And it's a great bag to have. The only issue I really have with this bag now that I've bought it is the closure. This is why I didn't want the supple version. I wanted the structured version because I felt like the closure on it was a lot e easier to get in and out of. I mean, it's a bit of a mission if you're taking your camera in and out on your phone or your cards, but it's a great little bag to travel with. I feel quite secure carrying this. You can carry it in your hand, in the crook of your arm, on your shoulder, or even as a crossbody. The strap is adjustable, which is amazing. And as I said, these come in a variety of different colors. I was very drawn to the green as well as a bright blue. You'll be surprised to know I don't actually have a pair of Aminas in this haul. I know, shocking. You can get those online. Doesn't really matter. The price is more or less the same everywhere. So, ooh, let's talk about Hermes. Hermes, Monte Carlo, Monaco. Wow, fantastic. People are getting Birkins over the counter. Actually, I don't know. I mean, in Dubai, they do like Birkin showings in like a private room. So, because they don't want you to know they have Birkins, they'll do it privately when you book an appointment with your essay or they call you in. But in Monaco, people were 
like publicly being shown Birkins and Kellys. And let me just tell you, everyone in Monaco has a Birkin or Kelly. You're not special carrying an Hermes bag. I will actually discuss my Birkin Kelly experience in my vlog when I do the vlog. But let me just tell you, I was more excited about the shoes. They had croc oran sandals galore. Shoes galore. Clothing, accessories, everything you could ever imagine. And this is one item I actually had seen a men's version of. A Laura Piana and I really wanted to get them but obviously they didn't do them in my tiny little size however Hermes had a very similar pair I was drawn to all the colors they had available however decided to be bold and went for the orange Hermes espadrille like how crazy is this it's so beautiful so Laura Piana have a very similar style these are not like the summer walks they actually have a men's espadrille and I think it's just a beautiful shoe especially to wear on the beach like in summer to a beach club they showed me this in black orange and yellow unfortunately the yellow which I really wanted wasn't available in my size the black it's a great color like I mean I love black but I wanted to be a bit more bold summer is here I'm feeling colourful-ish. You'll see throughout the haul. I went for the orange because I think they just look fantastic. They are quite comfortable. I haven't actually worn these out yet. But I picked up my size, which is 36. These are in a beautiful orange suede. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen my first stop in Rome, Italy, was, of course, none other than Laura Piana. And I did pick up quite a bit of stuff whilst I was in Italy at Laura Piana because it's my favorite brand. Their shoes are just unbelievably comfortable. In fact, we all ended up picking up a pair of Laura Pianas in different styles. The Summer Charms is my favorite. I went for this really nice burgundy kind of color. It's almost like a wine red. I love this red. I have worn them, which is why they look a bit floppy. But again, I have to reiterate this in all my videos. If you are buying Laura Pianas, always go to the store to try them on. And if you're really desperate for them, then buy them. However, if you want them to last and look perfect for a longer time, custom order them. It's the best thing ever. The quality and the craftsmanship of the custom orders is so different to the ones you get in store because I feel like they really hold their structure a lot better. The ones you buy in store, they tend to go floppy very quickly. So I always recommend trying them on and then purchasing them online. This is my go-to shoe and I love being comfortable. I think it's the most important thing, especially when you're walking around all day. Next, again, at Hermes, I completely forgot to mention, I picked up another pair of shoes. And this is a pair of shoes I had my eye on. They weren't available in Dubai, of course. Honestly, the stock here is just horrific. I could get these online, but I've never really shopped Hermes online. I've always wanted to try the things on before I buy them. And of course, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I picked up these Hermes sneakers. I completely forgot what the name is. It's It's gone from my mind. They are so cute. Initially, I was a bit skeptical when I saw them. I don't know if you guys can see, they have like the classic Hermes lock on them, which does actually open up. And it is like stretchy. I definitely recommend trying these on before you buy them. I did ask for a 36. However, these are 35. They're a full size down and they fit so well. So I did ask if they had these in a different color. Rose gold isn't really my first choice. Yellow gold is, but they only had rose gold. And honestly, once I tried these on, I wasn't taking them off because they are very comfortable. They actually remind me of a mixture between the Louis Vuitton front row sneaker and the Alexander McQueen sneaker, which I don't love. But they are a very comfortable pair of sneakers and I was wearing these throughout the day. On my first day, actually, I had no blisters, which is shocking for a pair of sneakers. And I love that they've got a pop of orange underneath saying Hermes. Another pair of Laura Pianas. These are not summer charm walks, summer walks. They are, in fact, the cashmere sneaker. These are another great pair of sneakers, whether you're looking for like an everyday kind of athletic kind of sneaker or even a gym sneaker. I don't know whether I'll be wearing these to the gym. When you go for that athleisure look, the classic athleisure look, you know, a pair of leggings, a nice Laura Piana jacket, which we'll get into, and a pair of like streamlined sneakers. These, wow. These are so comfortable. Initially, when I saw these, I was like, they are so hideous. Once I bought into the brand with the shoes, I was sold. I tried on every other style. They're almost too comfortable to say no to, regardless of how unnecessarily sporty they look. I kind of really love them. I love that they're understated. There's no like major branding on them. I love this olive green color as well. It's a neutral color. You guys know I love my neutrals. I definitely think I'll be buying more of these. You can also actually customize these on Online. I went to a 
an outlet mall in Florence. Wow, this outlet mall was insane. I'll get into it in my vlog. I couldn't go to a Florence outlet mall and not pick up a pair of Aquazuras. I've been eyeing these for a while. Uh, these weren't actually like majorly on sale. These are about 600 pounds still, but they were worth every penny because let's please appreciate these beauties they are stunning pair of aquazuras with the classic pineapple underneath don't know if you guys can see they're in a leopard print the toe almost looks like it's satin but it's suede all over suede with these crystals which wrap around your leg it's got the double crystals i do believe these are actually on sale online i don't know about this particular pair but you can get these in black as well as like a pinky nude i love these i picked these up in size 36 which is my true size i'm excited to wear these i'm trying to slowly inject more print and color into my wardrobe i'm not sure if you guys have noticed but i definitely recommend these these are a great pair of comfortable shoes and honestly the Aquazura shoes to me are very comfortable. The heel height is almost perfect. Obviously, because I was carrying all the stuff back, I had to unbox everything. I kind of did like unboxings in my vlogs as we went along, but not too many. So we decided to stay at the Savoy, which is a Roccaforte hotel in Florence. It is phenomenal. It is in the heart of the city and it is surrounded by so many amazing stores. It's right next to Miu Miu and it's directly opposite a Luis and Via Roma store. I was blown away. This store is such a great shopping experience. The sales associates are so lovely and they actually have massive screens where you can actually scroll and browse the website. However, I walked in, my eyes directly focused on this pair of boots from Burberry, which I had seen online. I actually messaged my SA at Burberry in Dubai if they were gonna receive them. Unfortunately, they didn't receive them here. However, I had two things on my wish list here at Burberry. One thing they had, one thing they didn't have, these are the boots. I know they look very similar to another pair of boots I have, but these are the Burberry boots. This is actually the short version. They do come in a longer version. I did ask for those, but they didn't have them. But I opted for the short version because I really liked how they looked on. They just look so cool. I'm so into these chunky biker boots right now. It's crazy. What I love most was that the top of this was actually really supple, soft leather. And they're just a really nice, round, chunky boot. I picked these up in size 36 and a half. I probably should have done 36. But after my experience with my Bottega boots, I realized I have to go up half a size for winter chunky boots. Even though they're a lot easier to get into and out of because they have the zip which actually goes all the way down the boot and makes them so easy to pull on i have to get a larger size because i know i'm gonna wear thick socks and it's just it's always better for me to get half a size up than my natural size i actually have to dust these off because these have been collecting dust because i have not been wearing them i picked these up in a 36 and as much as i love them this little entrance way for your foot is far too narrow for my thick ankle and my wide foot it's honestly a nightmare and it hurts my heart having to say that because i do really love them i haven't considered selling them yet yeah, although I probably should because I've, I've not worn them out. I'll put them on for a few seconds and I'll be like, I'm going to break into them. Seconds later, my feet are screaming in pain and want to be released from the shackles of this boot. So I've not been able to wear them out. They're also very heavy. They're almost exactly the same. In fact, I think the Burberry boots are cheaper than these boots. If you're going to buy a pair of like chunky boots like this, I would definitely opt for the Burberry. Oh my God makes sense or a 35 and a half i don't know why i don't return things and get my actual size on time like i think i would save so much money doing that but i just don't know how to return things yeah it's really that sad okay so i'm actually going to end this video here i know i only showed you a little bit i do want to get into the clothing but it's going to be another like 10 15 minutes because did you guys realize i love the sound of my own voice and i just talk and talk and talk like I'm doing now. So I'm gonna end this video here and we're gonna be doing a part two. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some vlog content in between the vlogs just to kind of like mix it up, just to ensure I've got enough backlogged content and I can just, you know, take a few days off after I've edited all my content and enjoy being unemployed i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will try and link everything if i can down below in the description box if not i'll link alternative items thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button tap that bell to get notified and i will see you guys in my next video